loco, loco. can't get over that like maybe artists who still have those beefs back from the making of the band-aid for example chopper hey. <laughs> do you have right. you talk to those guys in a while i speak to them you know i mean i haven't spoke to them what is your advice to them because i'm sure you probably heard this stuff and you're wondering like there goes the reunion like you know what i'm saying i guess we're not gonna have a reunion thanks a lot like is it that serious homie like is it to the point that y'all it like is it beef? Is it real what? Is it does it have to go down? And it's not even about money or nothing. Then for real, just put it behind niggas. Cause like we don't have to be the best of friends, but we definitely don't have to be enemies. So I mean, shout out to the whole D A B A N D, like all of them, okay. all of them, the whole thing. When I see them, it's love. Your words were were definitely quoted <laughs> on many situations. They say I'm a quotable dude. You you were. Um, life after Diddy was a mixtape I came out with DJ Sycamore. At the time, he was just doing the DJ thing, Big mm -hmm. Up to Sycamore. Mm -hmm. And I was angry, I was vexed. I was going through so much stress because I felt like I was portrayed the wrong way. And the only way for me to come out of that mm -hmm. was to release my anger towards my ex-boss, which was not the best thing to do in the world. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I, if it was right now, I wouldn't, but I don't regret what I did. I ain't no regrets because it, it, it is what it is. It, it, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Like, imperfection is perfection. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. My imperfection at that time and all the crazy shit that I said and everything else, like, I didn't know the 48 laws of power. I didn't know the art of war. I didn't understand any kind of... I went from jail to bail to MTV literally within hours. Mm -hmm. As far as not being on the come up through you know, uh, like a, mm -hmm. a, a Grenada and, and, and getting the, the name out there and getting the buzz right. out there first right. and then coming to the, to the States. Because a lot of artists from the Caribbean tend mm -hmm. to do that. They may say, oh, well, he's not that credible. He had no buzz before. He just came mm -hmm. up. Or even artists or people from those areas may feel that way. I don't know. There's a million and one things that people have a misconception of. But what do you right. think is the biggest thing that you've heard people get about you and, and what you're about that this is absolutely totally wrong? I think... Everything that you mention is totally wrong, okay. you know, which is, which is understandable though. Uh -huh. So you can't hate them for that, and that's the, and that's mm -hmm. the, that's the one thing I had to really get over because at first I was just like, well, why, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's like you can't hate them for that because that's what they were fed. Mm -hmm. If you're fed that, you know what I'm saying, through the powers of a great, great television show, mm -hmm. then what do you expect? You know what I'm saying? Okay. But like I said before, like my my roots in being a soul man and growing up as a soul man, as a DJ and everything else mm -hmm. is, is legit. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a lot of people that don't think I'm from the Caribbean that I represent the Caribbean. Like, yeah, straight. I represent Caracou Grenada. I represent that till the day I die. Um, I grew up with Jamaican music, of course. I mm -hmm. love the culture. I love the music. I love mm -hmm. the vibes. You know what I'm saying? I cook real food too mm. you know what i'm saying good western food i'm the real thing like you all know like how much more you gotta really prove to people what i mean like um as far as loving the camera nah it was never about that like it was never about i think people just it came across like it was an ego and he's all about himself mm -hmm. but i guess it was like i just know my music and my vision you know, I, I know exactly how this is supposed to sound. I know how this is supposed to go. And when you do that, when you're around people who have been in the business 20 odd years who have made millions, they're looking at you like you're a fool. You understand? And that's what happened. Let's be real. Like, I'm saying, Diddy's was probably like, you don't know any better. Like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And for me, it's more like, but you haven't been to my country. You haven't been through my movie. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of creative differences at that time. Would it be right now? I doubt it. But at that time, it was just like, Come on now, right, you know what right. I'm saying? So it's not like I love the camera, just that there, it's all about me. I just know what I have to do and I know my music and my structure and everything mm -hmm. else, like how, my, how, you know, my culture is. What you watch it is six people edited down into just a piece of your, 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 your personality. Mm -hmm. So how you are early this morning, let's say you had an attitude when you woke up, Miss Drama woke mm -hmm. up with an attitude by my bond. If I film that, and I only film the little pieces of when you have an attitude, and I feed that to the people. Right. They're not going to see the whole thing. Right. This is the first time that people are actually hearing me speak for a long time, mm -hmm. instead of just a clip saying, yeah, man, I mean, da-da-da-da-da, and then that's it. Like, right. you check what I'm saying? Like, if you actually heard what I said with full-length interviews back then, that's why the people of MTV respect me, because they know me. The real people who work that bad boy, they know me. They like, right. Right. we know. Y'all... Hey, All right. drama. 
who would you say right now mm-hmm. are the three top dancehall reggae artists to, in the game? Dancehall, right now, mm-hmm. because my genre is Caribbean hip hop. That's how I feel my genre is. Okay, but I'm Me as a fan hip-hop. of the music. Mm-hmm. Oh man, right now. Right. Not just the legendary who's been. No, because we, I mean, there are always going to be those top yeah. same three. Who's right now? For real. Um, I would say Vibes Cartel. Okay. Big up the whole Gaza. Mm-hmm. I would say Mavado. Big mm-hmm. up the Gully side. Mm-hmm. And I would say. Mm-hmm. I would say Sarani. Sarani. Big up Sarani. Okay. Yeah. Good. No Dylan in the hot seat officially with the Drama Queen Freestyle. He's going to run it off with Puffy, Vacation, and Motivation. All right? Here we go. Yeah. See, I've been all over the world and I know the people love me. From back in the days, even first time by Puffy. Everything I do, I know the people, them rate way. That's why we take it and we rep the West Indies. All across the world, I know the people, them love way. Half the big of the past, so my big up non Puffy. Anything I do, I know the people, them will love way. Don't know already, see Dylan ain't don't know already say it's frustration Everything I did right now in this situation But you know it's like my mental is a vacation Right now I'm taking you on a vacation Vacay, let we play, let we take it down the other land Motivation oh, no. For motivation <laughs> Alright, oh, I like Lord. how you trying to make it a song it's I'm trying to The first artist where I got a hook and they freestyle <laughs> That's crazy